Hello, fun. My name's Nick, and I'm here at the Midwest Regional in Chicago with Team 111 Wild Stang. They're ha they've had an incredibly impressive run already this season, making it to the finals of the Central Illinois Regional. They're performing incredibly strong today and have a very unique manipulation system. More information on this coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, now we're going over to Calvin to talk about all the mechanical systems. All right, start it off to enter the, into the robot. You have an under the bumper intake, which picks up the note. Use it, we've got a raised bumper in the middle here to allow it to pass through. From there, we can either bring the lift up the score on the amp, or pass it through to the score on the speaker. The shooter has two independently controlled sets of flywheels. A fast side and a slow slide add spin. The fast side is powered by two Neo Vortexes, and the slow side is powered by just a Neo 1.4. Very cool. One thing I'm almost curious about is why you went with the uh, individual power design. So I noticed your wheels can spin separately on both sides. So I just I picked up on that. It's a bit unique. So I'm curious about it. Yeah, so we, pit, we went with that design in order to increase the reliability of our shots by adding spin. The difference between the motors, because the difference between the speeds with Vortexes was like 35% on one and 100 on the other. So we went down with to a Neo for the slow side. And two Vortexes on the other side to reduce spin up time. Very cool. Now we're heading over to Alex to talk about all their software. All right, so the software on this robot this year is actually pretty interesting. Um, I'll start with something uh, I really like. I'm the driver this year, so I'm a big fan of this system. So, so we've got a Limelight 3 on the front here that's running a Google Coral using an AI model to detect notes on the ground. And using the information of the note position, uh, we take in what I'm inputting into the controls and then just have it adjust slightly depending on where the note is. As you know, visibility in the source can be a little difficult, as well as in other areas like near the drive station. So this helps out a ton when I can't really see the note. Yeah, you can take a little look up on the screen. We've got a really nice box around our note, so it detects it, figures out the center, and drives the robot towards it. Uh, as well as that, we've got our two Limelight 3s up top. That, help, that is part of our aiming system. We encountered issues with our previous vision system, which just had uh, one camera here on the front. So what we ended up doing is way increasing our field of vision. And what this allows us to do is we've set up full field localization on our robot, which means if we ever see any tag on the field, we know exactly where our robot is. So this allows us to shoot from really far away, really accurately. Uh, we also encountered some issues with ambiguity on April tags. I'm sure some of you know about that, where your uh, April tag can flip back and forth depending on how straight on you're looking at it. So having more April tags at our disposal allows us to choose the best data and get the most shots. Um, that's about it for software this year. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with what we've been able to accomplish here, and we're getting some really good shots. Thank you. Know, right? Absolutely, yeah. So I mean, literally implementing AI is impressive. One thing I'm almost curious about is, did you have any issues with implementing such AI models to help your robot? Uh, believe it or not, the Google Coral was the easiest part of our software this year. We kind of just plugged it in, uh, wrote a little code for adjusting the uh, heading and speed of the robot, depending on my inputs, just adding in the Google Coral, and that was about it. It worked. Everything else was a bit more difficult, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. All right, now we're going over to Elliot to talk about their unique wheel work. Take it away, Elliot. Hi, so at the start of this year, uh, during the off season, we've developed these TPU wheels that um, are really cool. So these wheels have a spiky design, which allows them to get about 1.5 times the traction with carpet for, uh, versus normal wheels. Um, right there. So this wheel design, you have a tread that's bolted on, and we also filed the edge of this uh, thrifty bot wheel that we bolt onto. Uh, so it's hot swappable. You just have to take out the middle bolt and pop out the wheel. That makes for a very quick tread swaps. Um, during the off season, we spent a lot of time making this design very well. We've tested different TPU um, designs. 
different TPU uh, brands and different designs, and this is what we've ended up, ended up on for this season. That's, yeah, very cool. Uh, one thing I'm curious about for those wheels, is there like any particular things that went into the design process? Designing wheels sounds somewhat complicated, so I'm just curious, does anything particular went into that? Yeah, so uh, we based our design off of 88's design with their uh, tread. Then um, we went through around like six iterations of wheel designs um, with help from other members of the community too at Chief Delphi. Uh, yeah, in general, if you want to learn more about these wheels, you should look at our Chief Delphi thread where we have a lot of information and also the 88's thread about these wheels. Absolutely. Very interesting work. Well, once again, thank you, Wild Stang. You've already had an impressive start to your season. You've had many impressive seasons before this. I wish you the best going into today and thank you for your time. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.